do you avoid probate with effective estate planning? For many of you, you may not even know that you could avoid probate. And for many of you, you may be thinking, what exactly is probate? Well, I'm going to answer both of those questions in this video today. First, let's talk about probate and why you should really try to avoid it. Probate is the process wherein after you pass away, you appeal to the court for either letters of administration or letters testamentary so that you can move property out of the deceased person's name into the beneficiary's name or into the heir's name. This process can take anywhere from a couple weeks to years. Just ask Gladys Knight's estate about that. So why should you avoid probate? Well, for one, it is public. Everyone will know what you have, who has it, where it's going, the value of it, how much debt you have, who you left out of your will, who you don't like, who doesn't like you, can be a full mess. And many times probate can rip apart families and it is also expensive. And so you may be looking at an estate that needs to be probated that may be a couple thousand to the hundreds of thousands. And that's why you want to avoid probate if you can. And also the expense of it. A regular probate case to probate a will is about between $35 to $5,500. And to do an intestate probate, you're talking about upwards of $5,000. In fact, I've had cases that become contested and they are in the thousands of dollars. So if you can avoid probate, please do so. So how do you avoid probate, Megan? Well, there are two ways to avoid probate. Either one, you give away the things you have before you pass away. And I'm just saying that might not be the best way to do things, especially if you have a highly appreciated piece of asset. For instance, if you bought a house at 50,000 and it's now worth 500,000, please don't give it to me before you pass away. Give it to me in a transfer on death deed or in a trust or something like that so that I can get the step up in basis so that when I get it, if I choose to sell it, I will pay zero taxes. So that's one way you can get around probate. Another way is to create a trust and properly fund that trust, meaning everything you have needs to actually be put inside the trust. And if you do that, my friend, you will avoid probate, you'll avoid the public display of what you have and who you owe. My name is Megan Truick. I hope you like this video. Go ahead, click like if you do, subscribe so that you can get the freshest videos every week. Thank you. Hello, thank you for watching our video. And because you made it to the end of that video, we're offering you our new estate planning handbook. This is a wonderful tool and I'm sure you like it. Go ahead, download the link and let's get learning together.